Hi, I'm David Halliday with Boatsmith here in West Palm Beach. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to give you a little update on where we are on our Riki. We've been working hard on getting the front end of the boat done. So I'll give you a look inside the Four Peaks and the port side forecastle and uh, a little tour of our workshop over here. It's pretty cool. I'm uh, also going to show you some uh, pictures in the cockpit of uh, the progress we've made on the steering system. The other big thing that we've been working on has been the dagger boards and the dagger board trunks. And uh, we've been making real good progress on them scattered out below me here. You can see we have a trial horse dagger board there that is not the real dagger board but we're using it just to make sure everything fits as we go along and uh, uh, so we built that then we've got uh, there over there are the two halves of the dagger board trunk these two pieces here are the molds for the halves of the dagger board itself and here we have the first trunk sitting in place in the hull. Okay, I'm here at the starboard forecastle. We can finish this area out however you'd like. We can make it as an additional bunk area. We can have it so it's really optimized to store your bicycles or your scooters. This particular case, this one's being set up as the workshop mechanical area. So your tools and, and maintenance supplies would be in here, your spares, your, the refrigeration system will be in here, as well as the water maker will be in this compartment. It's a very versatile space, and I'm going to go inside and kind of show you how we've set this one up. We're down inside the workshop now. This box here is the back of the oven compartment. There's a gas oven. And so uh, this oven is a built-in from the other side, from the galley side, and the box part actually sticks out into here. So we have a shelf over here. This is our workshop, our workbench. So we continued the bottom of this box over on this side to make a workbench, as well as a landing when you climb in. We added a shelf up here. We added another shelf over here and a shelf up, up here as well as a shelf at the forward end. So here's a view of the forward shelf and the front end of the workshop. I'm in the starboard four peak now. There's a vertical bulkhead about there. That's our crash bulkhead. The forward of that is just reserve buoyancy. Below me, we, we actually have a, a floor in here. That's additional reserve buoyancy. And then the, the four peak itself is used to store the, the screecher or the, the spinnaker and fenders, things like that. We've been working away on the steering system for this boat. We're building a custom carbon wood wheel. It's gonna be 52 inches in diameter. This is the drum that the line wraps around on a stainless shaft with some stainless pillow bearings, pillow block bearings. And then, so the line goes down on either side of the drum. And we, we made these, these special pillow blocks here that have stainless bearings on the inside and a stainless shaft. And this is uh, cast nylon that we machined the blocks and the shiv out of. And so the line goes through the block and back through this tube, comes out at the back end of the cockpit. It doesn't pass through the cockpit, it goes out through the foam of the floor of the cockpit. Then it'll go back to the back beam and across to the opposite tiller. We'll show you some more details of that as we go along, but we're really pleased with it so far. This section here, We'll get a small bulkhead there and we'll insulate that for the uh, in the cockpit beverage cooler. I'm here with the mold for the wheel for our Riki and the roll of carbon fiber we're going to use. 
and you're just going to have to tune in to the next video to see just how cool that's going to be. Have a real nice turkey day.